Hey everyone, Captain Owl here, and today I have a super simple 1.17 AFK lava farm for your 1.17 survival worlds or let's play series. Let's get right into it. So in this video, you might be noticing that I am not using shaders for this. In fact, shaders does not support Optifine or Optifine doesn't support shaders, which is why I'm not using shaders in this video. Now 1.17 has added the new block feature, which is the dripstone. Now you can farm lava using this dripstone in a very simple method. I am going to teach you now how to do it. Now the materials that come with this build are as follows. You will need 64 building blocks of any kind. I would really recommend a fireproof building block such as basalt. Or, or crimson, redwood, or warped wood, or any type of wood in the nether, I would definitely use those because those are fireproof since you're dealing with lava. You wouldn't need exactly 64, but I would recommend getting a little bit more than you need to. 15 pieces of glass, four hoppers, one redstone torch, one dropper, one redstone comparator, one pointed dripstone, you can find these in the new 1.17 caves, one oak trap door, six chests, one spruce door, one cauldron, one oak sign, one lava bucket, a stack of sticks, I'll show you why in a minute, and a lot of buckets. So to start out with, the dimensions for this build are three by four by six high, so you're gonna have to start off with those. Let's start off with the chiseled stone bricks as the corners, and then move up with the polished basalt. This is four, five, and then six at the top, and you just do the same on the other side. Now keep in mind, we're not gonna be connecting the sides just because this is where all the redstone is gonna go. We're just gonna have two frames not touching each other, just like this. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and grab your hoppers and your chests and put a chest going right here, a big chest, and put a hopper going into that chest. Then grab your other chest and just place it down right next to the other one, a large chest. These are where you're gonna hold all your buckets of lava or any type of storage system that you want. I would definitely recommend buckets of lava since this is what the farm is used for. Next, place a block of your choice here, then place a comparator facing that way and place a, another block right here and place a torch above it. And on top of that, place your dropper on top of that torch like so. Then with the remaining hoppers that you have, place one here, place one that's going into this dropper, place another hopper right here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your chests and place them down onto, onto the top of the hopper so they're, they're going into the dropper. Then make sure to grab your glass and put the glass where the lava will be held. I'm just making a little area right here for me to see. This is where the lava is gonna be held. Make sure that it's not dripping anywhere. Uh, that's what the dripstone is for. Ha ha, I'm so funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next, as we all expected, get your cauldron and your pointed dripstone out. Place your cauldron down here and then your pointed dripstone right above it so that it's pointing into the cauldron. Then go ahead and add a trapdoor. Actually, I forgot that, sorry, my bad. Uh, just grab a trapdoor and place it right here. Close it so that none of the lava leaks out. Then I'll just go ahead and make sure that the outsides are nice and fancy. You might have to break some glass blocks to do this. Just making sure that the outside is neat and presentable so that we can carry on with the rest of the build. It just makes the design a little bit more interesting to look at rather than just a blank wall. Then place a block right here and a block right here and go inside and then grab your spruce door and just place your spruce door down so you can open and close the door. I would also recommend maybe making a staircase for yourself just because it is a little bit difficult to get up there into the actual farm itself to start smelting or do or start grabbing the lava from inside. Now the final thing to do is just grab your lava bucket and place your lava bucket down into here. Make sure that nothing is going crazy with flammable and stuff. And once the actual cauldron is filled up here with lava, you can just fill it up myself. I can just fill it up here. Once the dripstone is done filling up this cauldron with lava, you pretty much have infinite source of lava. Let me show you how to use this farm now. So the first thing that you do when you get in here is you want to grab or you want to put all your buckets in here so that they start flowing into the system correctly. But you also want to keep some for yourself 
I shouldn't be holding this lava bucket in my hand. It's, it's kind of dangerous for me to do this. So <laughs> you just might want to keep some for yourself so you can keep on farming this lava. Then I would make sure that your entire inventory is full, full from anything so that you can't catch anything other than lava in this lava farm. That's a lot of sticks. So once you have your bucket, you can then right click it and all of a sudden the bucket will be dispensed and you'll have a entirely new bucket giving you pretty much infinite lava source blocks. This may take you a couple of tries, but once you get it, you can basically get infinite lava. Now what the good thing about this is that you can also do, um, you can hold down your right click button and you can also press F3 plus T. Now this will reload the, uh, the launch thing and every single time you can now uh, right click the lava and you'll be totally fine. You can just AFK this overnight. You can grab infinite lava as you please. It's really, really simple and easy to do. So pretty much it's, it's a foolproof method. Now let's go check how much lava buckets we have. We have four lava buckets here without any other buckets used. So this is pretty much a genius way of getting lava pretty quickly rather than going to a lava lake. You could just go to a lava lake, but if you wanted to be really lazy, you could do this instead. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Captain Al here, signing off, Hoodon.